Hello and welcome to a FAQ or frequently asked questions about me. Um, this is just general questions that you guys might have um, or that you might have thought about asking in the past. So I'm going to split these up to general, YouTube and speedrunning. Um, if you have any other questions, do not forget to ask them. You can ask them in the comment section below and I might do another one of these. So we'll see how it goes. What is your name? Brad. Not Bradley. How old are you? 23. No older, no younger. Where are you from? Manchester Arcade. Favourite food? Tricky one. I'd have to narrow it down to three. Um, probably a bit of a bizarre thing, but giant strawberries, so the sweets that you get. Uh, spaghetti carbonara. And the fillet steak with a nice... It has to be with a nice creamy peppercorn sauce. Medium done. Works for me. Medium, shall I say, how I like it cooked. Favourite drink? Again, this one's tricky. Favourite alcoholic drink is probably, I think it's called Ricorder Leg, uh, strawberry and lime. Uh, Favourite non-alcoholic drink is probably apple juice. Most remember childhood memories? Well, I've got three that come to mind. Um, first one was cracking my mate's head open with a tile. This was a complete accident, I didn't mean to do it. Second one is destroying my neighbour's greenhouse with stones which I threw over the fence. And the third one was just riding my bike about. One of that last one being the most normal one there is. What hobbies do you have besides YouTube? Not many, to be honest. Um, I stream my Twitch channel, I walk the dog, uh, if you can call that a hobby. Watching films, I watch Formula One and the British Touring Car. And I hang out with my friends from time to time, so nothing too exciting. Okay, that covers the normal general questions. Now let's move on to the YouTube questions. What inspired your YouTube name? My favourite car is a Dodge Viper or the SRT Viper GTS uh, from 2013. That's actually my favourite, my all-time favourite car. Um, so that's where the Viper bit came from. And then the racing bit is simply because of the fact that I really like racing games and really like playing them. Um, I have done since I was younger, so yeah, there you go. Have you ever been recognised from YouTube? Yes, once. Um, I was working as, as a delivery driver for Pizza Hut and whilst I was doing a certain delivery, uh, this guy had spotted me and recognised me. I didn't catch the guy's name, but he said he recognised me and everything like that. Um, I do remember shaking his hand. Again, this was years ago and I do apologise. If that person's still watching me, please get in contact with me. Um, but yeah, that was a nice moment. Most remembered YouTube moment. See, this one's a bit of a tricky one for me. It wasn't my finest moment, but it was probably when I made that F1 community video um, back in 2015. It garnered a lot of attention from a lot of people in the community, and there was a lot of out brawl between two sides of the story on that one. Um, but excluding that, um, probably when I hit a thousand subscribers uh, back in, at Christmas last year, that's probably definitely the highlight for me. Best thing about YouTube? Well, for me, it's probably got to be making so many friends um, through the F1 community a few years ago. I still keep in quite contact with them, uh, with quite a few of them, even today. So, yeah, definitely making a lot of friends and, uh, yeah, even attending a few events with them. So, that was pretty cool. Worst thing about YouTube? Well, other than the algorithms and the copyright books, um, which we're so used to these days, to be honest, I find there's a lot of fake people these days and it kind of translates over to real life as well. Well, I mean, when I say fake, I mean people who obviously put on, not just the people who put on an act, but also the fact that people are like, hey, and they're really nice behind the camera, and really when you meet them, an absolute idiot. Um, that's not everybody, but there is a quite a few out there on YouTube that might seem all cool and everything. When you meet them, they're just not like that and I hate them sort of people. So, yeah. With the YouTube wrapped up, let's get over to the speedrunning questions. Which speedrun did you find the most fun? Probably Pursuit Force. Um, both of them, actually. The Pursuit Force and Pursuit Force Extreme Justice, both on the PSP. And they require quite a bit of skill, I think, during the run. Like, for example, in most runs, you have just, like, one particular skill set, such as... Uh, you're just shooting or there's a bit of driving. Some games do combine the two, but I find that both of them games have a variety of gameplay styles So that's the reason why it kind of keeps you on your toes in a little one. Obviously it does repeat during the game, but You know, you've got that variety of not just coming in doing the same thing 
Um, like, say, racing games sometimes. Most entertaining speed run you've ever done? For me, it's probably got to be Colin McRae Rally 2, um, the New Game Plus, the Championship, uh, the Novice New Game Plus Championship with the Peugeot 205, simply because of the speed of the car and the shortcuts that you do and everything like that. And obviously, it's been brought down even more now because of the shortcuts that have been found thanks to the community members and uh, you know several community members even over the years. Um, yeah, it's a pretty crazy speed run. It's not as mad as some, but in terms of racing, I think it's pretty quick. Uh, and there's a lot going on at times in some of the stages. So, yeah, definitely one uh, that's probably quite insane to watch, I'd say. And my most entertaining I've ever done. The speed run that's taken everything out of you to do. See, for me, there's probably a couple on this list. Um, Driver 1, Colin McRae Rally. The Italian job and Porsche Challenge all come to mind, to be honest. Um, but other what? Well, others from that. I mean, I can't pick one definitely, but others include like Burnout Three, um, Burnout Legends on the PSP, Driver Parallel Lines, and hands down, World Scariest Police Chases. Speaking of which, the speed run that you've regretted doing the most. See, this comes down to a few. World's Scariest Police Chases was bad because of the AI and the RNG and stuff like that and actually being good at it was quite difficult to do considering the route that the cars take and the damage and stuff. Um, Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase was another one. Um, I should clarify, them two were blind runs anyway, so that's, I think we can let them slide. But two that I've definitely regretted doing and they're on my speedrunning CV, if you can call it that, on speedrun.com, which are Need for Speed Most Wanted, the 2005 release, on the Game Boy Advance, and also Need for Speed Undercover uh, on the Wii as well. What is one speedrun that you can keep coming back to and never get bored? For me, hands down, this would probably have to be the original Colin McRae Rally and the Novice Championship speedrun, as for me, it's super easy to do. Um, that's just from where I'm sat, though. And because I've been playing the game since I was about three or four years old and played it god knows how much, um, I can always come back to it, I can always tackle it no matter what car. Uh, might not always set a personal best, but um, yeah, it's just a fun game for me to play. I, I, my childhood depends on that game, I'd say. Um, well, it depends on it, but you get the idea. What is your favourite speedrunning moment? For me, hands down, it's probably got to be getting into ESA for the first time in 2019. Um, being able to spend a time with a lot of new faces, meet so many friends and uh, and everything. I really had a fun week, probably one of the best weeks I've ever had in my life, um, to put it bluntly. Uh, on top of that though, I mean, not just ESA, but also... Whenever I've been to a UKSG event and I've been able to meet new people and also work alongside the staff, um, you know, I, I work as part of the staff as well, but that's beside the point. Um, just working with the staff and seeing the runners and meeting everyone again, it's always fun and very enjoyable no matter what. So definitely ESA, getting into ESA last year and just working at any UKSG event is probably the highlights of my uh, speedrunning career, my favourite speedrunning moments that I've ever done. And that covers all the basic questions. There probably is a couple that I could have mentioned or could have wrote about. Um, if any, any of you guys have any questions for me, leave them down in the comments down below. I thought this would be a fun thing to do. Um, if you guys want to ask, see, you can see this is a QA, and a I guess. Um, yeah, if you want to ask any questions, feel free to fire away in the, um, in the description. Sorry, in the comment section. And um, yeah, maybe there'll be a part two of this. You never know. Anyway, on that note, thanks very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. And until my next video, ta-ra.